the church is growing. Um, right now they're sitting at about, I think around 10,000 members. It's probably around 12, 1200 at this point. Um, they were usually actually sitting around a, a 50% retention rate, which is actually very good. I mean, it, it was a wonderful thing to see through. I actually was in my mission. I saw a transition from when I first got there to baptize, baptize, baptize. When we became, you know, we were still want, wanting to baptize, of course, but it became more retention and testimony and focusing on the deeper underlying focus of what we were doing as missionaries, um, within the church. There's, there's a lot of leadership. We have three stakes in the capital. Um, one province that's getting a stake here soon, I believe. And then one, two, three, four, five outlying branches or provinces, some of which have wards, uh, most of which are branches still. Uh, I served eight months in one area that had two branches. Um, and I, that, was, that was my home. Um, as far as within the church, I mean, we had, when I first got there, about 60 missionaries, 65 missionaries, and I think it's, it's around 70 to 80 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as far as the church itself goes, it's, it's, a, it's a very unique form of the church because you have so many incoming values. I mean, you have a, a bishop that, you know, is maybe 50, 60 years old that was baptized three or four years before who was raised Protestant or Catholic. And so he's changing as much as everybody else is. So you'll have a lot of a, a giant learning curve. I mean, I remember times in my branch that we would find, you know, 11 or 10 year old boys helping with, with the sacrament. And so it's just, you have to be ready for these little, little things that you have to fix. I mean, it's not necessarily apostasy, but it's, it's little things to help these people become better and just recognize they're growing and the church is, is just taking off for them. And so just focusing on what they need and, and yeah. So the mission in Madagascar, um, what it is now, was officially um, organized, I guess. It's like a formed, organized in 1998. Um, <clears throat> I believe it was Elder Scott that went and dedicated Madagascar for missionary work. Um, prior to that, um, missionaries had been in Madagascar. Sure, there were already members, um, but they'd only been preaching in um, French. And uh, I think it was part of the... Um, uh, South Africa mission, maybe. Um, I'm not quite sure on that. But uh, anyway, so in 1998, they formed what it is now, the Madagascar and Tandarivu mission. And um, they had both French and Malagasy speaking missionaries. Um, well, they had French, and then in about 2001 or 2002, they started teaching Malagasy here at the MTC. And that's when they kind of split the mission, well, the division language wise. Um, so Madagascar itself is just Malagasy speaking missionaries and then uh, Mauritius and Reunion which are off the coast of Madagascar are also part of the mission uh, We're only French speaking islands and so the, the mission calls the same you know it's the Madagascar and Tanarivu mission and then in there it specifies what language whether it's French or Malagasy um, so and the mission size um, you know even with the increase of missionaries that the church has seen it hasn't increased um, at least yet I mean we hope it does we get big groups at the MTC, but then groups go home, and so it doesn't really grow. But I'd say there's about 60 or 70 missionaries right now, maybe more, but there's not there's not a lot. Um, there are now, since I've come home, a lot more natives, a lot more native missionaries, from what I've heard, which is really good um, for them. I'm, I'm sure they'd love to go to America on their missions, but um, they could definitely be used in Madagascar. Um, there are two stakes in in uh, Antanarivu, the capital, um, and then there are two districts, one in, um, in in two different places, and those are both getting really big. One might be a stake sometime soon. Um, so in the capital, they're mostly wards. Um, I served in one of the oldest wards there. Um, you know, it's been around since the mid-90s. So it is relatively new in a way, I mean, compared to like, well, America or the Philippines or something like that where they've been around for quite a while but it is still a little bit older um, uh, and then mostly the outlying areas the provinces and stuff are mostly branches um, or groups because um, they're so small um, there's some pretty outlying areas that I served in and that I know of that you know you have to hike into or ride your bike or, or whatever it is um, and, uh, so there's areas spread pretty much across the island for missionaries. Um, down south, there's two areas, like way down the very bottom. 
um, and then the middle. So I guess the north, what is it, the northeast, there's, there are no missionaries yet, but pretty much everywhere else, excuse me, they have missionaries. Um, and uh, yeah, they have, you know, most of the, um, uh, the typical, um, the, the church structure is, is getting better. Um, seminary Institute, those kinds of things, they have them, but they're still kind of slow going and, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the mission.